The year has just begun and we already have a lot of competition in the budget smartphone segment. Last week I reviewed the Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 when it came to India and this week we have the Honor 6X coming to India. Now if you watch my video review of the Redmi Note 4, I call it a great smartphone otherwise, however I say that the cameras aren't the best in class. Honor 6X on the other hand brings dual camera setup at this price point which is a feature that you generally see in flagships like the LG G5 or the iPhone 7 Plus and that gives it the potential to just be the best camera smartphone in this budget segment. But is it really so? And cameras aside, how does this smartphone feel otherwise in real world and should you be buying it over a Xiaomi Redmi Note 4 or a Coolpad Cool1 Dual which too by the way has a dual camera setup for this price point? Well, if you don't know me yet, my name is Sid and in this video review, we'll answer all that and more for you. Now, since the cameras are the sheen of this device, let's first start by talking about them only. This phone has one of the best cameras under this price segment. It has two lenses at the back, a 12 megapixel primary one and a 2 megapixel secondary one, which is there to capture depth information. While it does help in taking crisp photos otherwise as well, the main purpose of its existence on the back is to enhance the bokeh effects of this camera. And oh boy, bokeh is shot from the smartphone look fantastic. The subject gets clearly focused on and the objects in the background get blurred completely in idle scenarios. Plus, the ability to refocus on objects post the photo getting clicked is a cool feature to have. Yet bokehs are for pros. And for amateurs too, the camera is pretty amazing. Day shots are flawless, indoors are better than most of the competition out there and night shots too are acceptable. They aren't fantastic or flagship like but they are neat for a budget smartphone. Yet when the lights get a bit too low, the results dip as well. But despite all that, it is an exceptional camera for its price and in my personal usage, it is at par and at some points even better than the dual camera setup of Coolpad Cool1 Dual. Uh, it is not by any means a flagship killer camera, but by all means it is a budget smartphone killer camera. The only issue I have with it is that it does not support 4K video recording for those of you who want it. But heading now to the front camera, it's good for most of the parts. The only place where the performance dips a bit is in the artificial lighting. However, different color filters make it fun in the day and the front screen flash makes it a savior in the dark. But keeping cameras aside for a while, let's focus on the phone in general. And let's first start by talking about its designing. The phone looks and feels quite premium. It uses metal construction on the back so it gets that luxurious feel. However, on the same back you have a camera hump and a fingerprint scanner bump which make it a rather uneven device. Yet it's the front that really makes this phone lackluster. The metallic continuity gets broken for a front which is made up of glass. Uh, the glass by the way comes pre uh, protected with a pre-pasted uh, screen guard. But the bezels on this phone are a bit too much for my liking, especially the bottom chin. And the major issue I have with this phone is that it looks a lot similar to last year's Honor 5X. So no innovation here as well. And if the designing is unimpressive, the display is too. It's a 5.5 inch Full HD screen which now is a standard and the screen can get a lot bright too. However, it does compromise on the colors which look a bit washed out when you increase it too much. Also, personally, I hate these black borders around the display of all these Chinese phones. Coming to performance, Kyron 655 CPU powers the Honor 6X and in terms of benchmarks, it's comparable to the performance of a Snapdragon 625. And personally, gaming is not an issue at all. The speaker, however, might be an issue because it's neither loud nor it is rightly placed. But if we talk about the fingerprint performance, it is quite fast and more importantly, the sensor is made useful as a shutter key, as a notification viewer and as a gallery swiper thanks to the software of this phone, which is right now on Android Marshmallow, but a no good update is promised. However, the user interface isn't the most pleasurable one. A lot of apps come pre-installed, the multitasking view is a slider and not tiles, there are menus inside menus inside menus which have interesting features to offer but you might never find them out. For a whole day I couldn't figure out how to make Geo Sims work on this device. I tried everything and all settings. And then I figured out that there is a button below the quick settings in a different menu that enables 4G on this device. 
Now, why are 4G and mobile data separate buttons or why does 4G not get automatically are things I don't have an answer to. Yet, the software does pack in a couple of extra goodies including themes, gestures, health monitors. But in my opinion, Emotion UI needs a bit more polishing before it can be as good as a Mi UI. But while the software does disappoint, the battery does not. The phone packs in a 3340mAh battery that lasted me more than I hoped it would. And the reason for this endurance is the same software that automatically closes in the background the apps that are not being used. Moreover, in the battery manager you get two aggressive power management modes, you get a firewall, you get a lot of optimization and a lot of information on consumption more than what you would need. But the result of all this is that the phone easily lasts for a day and a half, even with above average usage. And when the battery finally dies, the charging is as fast as a quick charge 2.0. And that sums up all you need to know about the Honor 6X. And now it takes us to the most important section, the verdict. So how's the phone? Well, it's a great camera smartphone and a good smartphone otherwise as well in terms of a long-lasting battery, neat performance and extra features to offer. But is it better than a Xiaomi Redmi Note 4? Not in terms of display, software or stability, but if optics are a priority, then by all means the 6X would be a better buy. But as I said in the end of my Redmi Note 4 review, next month when Moto G5 Plus gets launched is the time when things will become more interesting. But for the sake of present, Honor 6X is one of the best camera smartphones you can buy out there for a budget, which falls a bit short from becoming the best budget smartphone in the town. Now that's what I think of the phone, but what is more important for me to know is what you think of this video. So do not forget to post your comments in the comment box below after you have liked and shared this video with your friends. And most importantly, do not forget to hit that subscribe button so that you can come back and see more of me. I am Sid, see you soon. Ciao.